from the beginning I'm an organic chemist and I've been more and more interested in uh, functionalization and materials and materials properties. And I'm leading a group that's called New Materials and Composites at Inventia. And we are working with the relation between the ultrastructure and the properties, the material properties in the final product. So we are working its uh, micromechanics, its wood chemistry, its fiber chemistry, fiber technology, its polymer technology. And we are trying to build models to understand what a small change in the ultrastructure will result in when it comes to the final properties. And we are working with something that we call hierarchic design, where we are designing fiber surfaces, fiber, fiber walls, fibers or polymers. And then we have the next level, which is called material design. That's when we mix the fibers and the polymers and decide which production method we should use. And then on top we have the product design that decides which material properties we have to tailor. Our role in Biomime is to try to, first of all, set the goals to find industrially relevant properties and materials and fibers to work with. And then we also have to create the way to measure and to, we have to put the success goals to understand if we have succeeded or not. My position here at Konstfack is in interdisciplinary knowledge transfer, which means we have to communicate and that uh, in Ventia we are trying to, to make sure that the industry can make use of the results that we are producing within Biomine. The chair is the result of uh, many years of research. We have been working on developing new materials, bio-based and forest-based, and we have been showing them to designers and architects, and we have only had flat samples, and as scientists we produce tables and curves and show them, look at the modulus, and this is the strongest and stiffest material you've ever seen, and no one really could understand the material. And then two years ago we hired two design students and asked them could you please make a material sample that will show the identity of the material so that people will understand what can be done and it shouldn't give any associations on what it should be used for. Just show the possibilities. So, and we decided that they should make a kofias. And a kofias is something that is nothing and doesn't look like anything else. So they came up with this design to show what you can do and how you can shape the material. And you can touch it, you can feel it, and you can hear the sound from it. It gives you an impression on how it can be used. And we showed this one in, at the furniture fair in Milan two years ago, and it was a great success. But a lot of designers came and said, we want that material, but we didn't have any producer. From, from designing the chair together with uh, Klaus and Kors to uh, uh, actually making the chair hands-on, it's all very different uh, sides to it. It's all very fun. It's very important to, to, to tell the story of the research that is made uh, in this industry. I think it's it's uh, way much too hidden uh, for people to see. There are so many exciting things going on behind the curtains and we don't really get to know about them. One year ago we had a design student from the Royal Institute who came and said this is my master thesis and I'm working for the design company CKR and they gave me this egg box and said that we want to make a chair with the egg box technique and the egg box material but it has to be water resistant and weather resistant. So then we started the collaboration and we found a paper company or pulp company, a pulp producer Södra Cell, who said that we are in, it would be very interest, interesting to develop this material and to have it displayed in Milan again, but this time we can sell the material. So that's the background why we started with the chair. That's what my project is about, to, to showcase research in another way. Yeah, this chair is actually growing in a mold. 
and uh, after two years you you uh, you harvest the chair take it out from the mold and you put the mold back so you have a production system uh, together with nature instead of beside all through my time here at Konsfak I've been trying to work with new and different materials and uh, the conclusion in the end that I wanted to explore was was uh, uh, bio uh, mimic and uh, biotechnology I think as, as uh, designers we really have to be aware of new technologies because this is what is uh, driving design forward and if we want to see the the push the limits I think uh, this is where we have to be for the moment we we see it in, in quite much in architecture and, and uh, and fields that has a little bit more money but I, I think this is going to be a, a, a huge field for, for the future and that that uh, different uh, um, different islands of knowledge will will emerge and and work together as science and design I think it's really hard as a designer and I think when science and design meet I think it's it's very much on the designer to uh, prove themselves to the sci to science because I think the, uh, we, the, the picture of uh, the designer wanting to go into science is sometimes a little bit uh, he's lazy and he do doesn't know what he talks about but I think the, the meeting uh, and the meeting melting point is, is uh, where it could be fantastic.